Hi! Welcome to LEGO The Hobbit. We're doing uh, Mission 12, A Warm Welcome. Uh, this one's in Lake Town. Uh, it is the bit where Killy's sick and we've got to rescue him and we I think, get control of elves for the first time. Oh, well, maybe that was in the previous one, Barrels Out of Bombs. Anyway, at the front here there is a mithril, silver mithril doodad a crane to destroy. And this didn't do what I thought it would do, to be honest. Instead, it creates a jetty that you can go fishing on and you fish for a mini kit. If you haven't got the mithril fishing rod, uh, Frodo will cover your needs quite happily. And also, if you've played this through in story mode, you may have got uh, the loot fishing rod anyway. Uh, then smash, smash, smash here. You're going to want to grab someone who has a bow. Uh, any old elf will do. There you go. And then jump across onto that boat and over here. Obviously, I have to smash everything up before I go any further, but there's mini kit number one around there, along with a purple stud and a couple of blues. Then build that ladder up there, and you're into this room where you've got to retrieve five weapons. Now, here you'll see two kind of mannequins. Uh, there's one out of four and two out of four. The other two are over here on the right behind a wizard door, so shoot that way. And in there you'll actually find mini kit number two, the L3, sorry. Uh, one off the jetty, two from behind the thing. But the other two mannequins there to get mini kit number four as well. And uh, in quick succession, we're going to get treasure number one here. This is Sir Mustaf, and this one's used in a quest, which actually unlocks also studs times ten. Uh, but this one is used in staff and nonsense down in the elven woods. Anyway, carry on through here. Uh, don't pick up the last weapon immediately. You can skip the need to build the brazier here by just using um, Sam, uh, sending a wizard in there to light it up and use Sam to uh, set the fire. Or the dragon egg, if that's what you prefer. Spin that, climb over there. You don't have to get the bow to do this bit either, although you obviously will need the bow to finish the level. But grab the weapons one by one. There we are. And that really confuses me, being able to kill that door and take those things off there. I don't really get it. Uh, shoot that, there's another weapon or shield or something in there. Uh, then, once you've killed these guys, there's an elf jumping area up here. Now, there's a hook that you, is a little bit hard to see. You want to get into the middle there, push up to climb, and then jump forward to get the blacksmith recipe. And you can just hook from directly up there if you want. You don't actually need to go down and smash. Uh, the thing, although I did, I went back and just did it all normally. And in fact, even went back to uh, <laughs> smash up all this because I just couldn't bear to leave stuff unkilled. Uh, but didn't bother uh, yeah, to kind of building all the bits and pieces. Anyway, build up there. He always dies when he climbs that ladder for the first time. I'm not sure why. But go in there, grab the bow. That's the fifth item, and you'll be through here. Now, I've done. Hello, helicopter. I've done some dirty cuts here, so apologies for that. But. The second treasure item is here, you're going to want Dory with the flail, just pull that open and uh, that's the singing fish sword or something. Um, that makes you sing when you swing it, although I didn't really notice any evidence of that. There we are, singing fish blade, sings when swung. Yeah, I wasn't hearing a lot of singing. Anyway, ignoring that dirty cut. Uh, there are five little crab things here. Uh, well, not here. There's the first one there. And I've got the mini kit detector and the treasure detector on. That's why I've got those big old arrows. But there's the first crab. Uh, there's the second one right there. The third one is underneath here next to a blue wizard button. And actually blowing that up with a wizard will destroy that and spit out mini kit number th three, four, five. Uh, but that was the third crab. Here's the fourth one over here. And then the fifth one is over by treasure number three, the duck hat. Uh, I just built that while I was there, but that's part of the story. There's the fifth one there. Hello, Grab. Free him from his crab pot. There we are, that's the sixth mini kit there. Now that big yellow arrow is pointing to a treasure. I used the dragon egg, but you're no, I didn't. I used Sam. Happy to use Sam or whatever. That's the duck hat, which is amazing. Makes quacking noises when running and jumping. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Then put this ladder up here and uh, free the pig. Now the pig is always in the third one. Whichever one you do third. Uh, the first one pretty straightforward. You can use a crank here. I use the mithril skeleton crank. Uh, if you don't have that yet, just dig there and it will spit out the other crank. I've realised I probably ought to show that just in case you don't. But then head into that building there for mini kit number seven. There you are. 
Uh, then uh, unlock this final pen and the pig will be in there. Don't interact with the pig until you've got everything here because it will finish the level. Well, not finish the level, but take you to the next section. Now you're going to have to kill, what, 10-ish orcs, 8-ish orcs, something like that. Then climb in the little crawl hole here and that's going to take you up to mini kit number 8. Here. And it's actually kind of silly on the save that I'm doing this to find out where everything is. I don't have any of these detectors, so I'm finding everything. And then I switch the detectors on for this. I should really be doing it the other way around. <laughs> anyway, attack him. Then uh, flip to an elf with a bow and shoot that owl up there on the right. He'll fly off to the distance. You can either shoot him after jumping that up and walking across the tight ropes, or I just waited and shot him again here. You're going to have to shoot him three times in total. But now he's going to fly off the screen, so whatever happens, you'll have to get up here. Uh, so make your way across here. Have a little fight with some orcs there. Head across that tightrope, and there is the owl. For the third time, shoot him, and he'll drop the loot rod, which is a fishing rod that allows you to fish for loot off Lego jetties. Now, I don't know if that means you actually get loot, because I never ever tried it, or if it just means that you can do fishing. Um, probably it means you get loot if you go fishing. So that's very easy to get in story mode because you'll be controlling the elves at this point. So uh, not a bad one to have. Here is a bit tricky. Um, I couldn't quite get them to pick up. Uh, I couldn't quite get Gollum to pick up that mini kit very easily. So it took a little bit of faffing. Also careful here with explosive damage. You'll notice that you blow up those um, platforms there if you attack them, um, which is, makes it a bit tricky to get onto the platform to get the mini kit, to get onto the goblin wall. Anyway, finally, here the 10th mini kit, shoot this with uh, Ori or someone else with a catapult. And unlike the normal ones where it needs three, this one will need five hits. Anyway, eventually that'll sink and it should give you mini kit number 10. So that's it, we're done. Uh, ignore the fact that it says three treasures there because I went back for the singing fish blade afterwards because I missed it. Loot rod, uh, duck cap, so Mustaf. And then Dirty Cut, uh, Singing Fish Blade. Yay! And there's the blacksmith design for the Mithril Booty Blade. Now there's quite a complex, well it's actually not complex, it's a longer quest chain. And the mini kit has made like a little boat. So go and craft the uh, Booty Blade. I forgot to record the bit where it shows how much stuff it takes, but it, I think it took some reds and seven Mithril bricks. So not the most expensive, and it basically works like character studs in previous games, where killing people will spit out studs, which is quite nice. Uh, then you want to head to Lake Town to do Ballista Assistance. Uh, that is here, follow the stud trail, and that's building a ballista. Uh, it's not going to be too expensive, I think the only real problem is with steel or silver, whichever one that is, iron or silver. Uh, and it's quite a quick build as well, there aren't too many things that you have to watch. When that's built, another quest will pop up immediately called, uh, well, you'll see here, uh, Lake Town Shakedown. Uh, and this is going to require you to shoot 10 goblins with the ballista. It's kind of fun. Once you've done that, you'll get uh, another mithril block and the red quest uh, here, Booty from the Beasts, will turn up. And this woman here has said that goblins have stolen uh, boats. So she wants you to shoot them down. And she's like, oh no, no, I haven't got a boat. So she wants the Booty Blade to uh, go killing goblins to make enough money to buy another boat. Which sort of makes sense in a weird sort of way, I guess. <laughs> anyway, she gives you boss disguises, which costs 100,000. I don't think I've ever switched that on, but presumably the bosses get disguises. I don't know. Uh, it was kind of fun in Lord of the Rings, though. Maybe I'll have a look at that later. Anyway, uh, we are dropping off some Mustaf, and that happens in the Elven Forest over here. Follow the stud trail, speak to this woman, and she will give you a Mithril Silver Brick for your troubles. And that will unlock the red quest to drop off the Candle Staff for studs times ten as well. Anywho, on the left, barrels out of bonds. Uh, that is mission number 11, and on the right, Goblin Town, uh, mission number 7 or 8 or 9, I think. So I've been doing these a bit out of order just because I keep picking up things which require me to do other missions to unlock bits for the quests. Anyway, so that's the way you get it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next mission. Lots of love, bye!